Hello viewers, here in this video we will discuss about the Panchayat Raj system in Assam. The first is Standing Committees of Gaon Panchayats. There are provision of three standing committees in each Gaon Panchayat and these are the Development Committee, the Social Justice Committee and the Social Welfare Committee. In each committee, there are three or four members including President and Vice President elected from amongst the elected members of the Panchayat. Anchalik Panchayat Anchalik Panchayat consists of one member from each Gaon Panchayat to be directly elected and uh, in Anchalik Panchayat, 33% seats are reserved for women. The President and Vice Presidents are elected by the members of the Anchalik Panchayat from amongst its members. Standing Committees of Anchalik Panchayat There are three standing committees of Anchalik Panchayat and these are the General Standing Committee, Finance, Audit and Planning Committee and Social Justice Committee. Uh, Jilla Parishad. It consists of the elected members from the territorial constituencies of the district on the guidelines of one member for not less than 30,000 rural people, including the members of parliament and the MLAs of the district. The president of the Anchalik Panchayats are also the members of the Jilla Parishad. If women from SCST category and women from general category are not represented in the Jilla Parishad, the government may nominate one member from each community. And amongst the member, the deputy commissioner elects one as president and another one as vice president. Standing committees of Jilla Parishad. Jilla Parishad has four standing committees. General Standing Committee, Finance and Audit Committee, Social Justice Committee and Planning and Development Committee. District Planning Committee. Consists of members of the Lok Sabha who represent the whole or part of the district. The members of the Legislative Assembly whose major part of the constituencies fall within the district the president of the Jilla Parishad and the mayor or the chairperson of the municipal corporation, municipal board and town committee. The deputy commissioner is permanent invitee of the committee as an ex officio member. The chief executive officer of the Jilla Parishad is the ex officio secretary of the committee and the president of the Jilla Parishad is the ex officio chairman of the committee. And this is all about for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more updates.